asking the question, when is an anteater not an anteater? Answer, when it's eating scrambled eggs. This is Moroni, the park's female giant anteater. As their name suggests, in the wild, they do mostly eat ants and termites. However, they will try other types of foods if they come across them. Kim wants to find out whether there's anything new she could add to Moroni's diet. So Jean is helping her carry out a taste test. And what kind of things have you been trying out today? So today we have cork cheese, which they haven't had before. It's a very weird thing because it's not quite, it's not cheese, it's not solid, so it might be very difficult for them. Yeah. Um, we've got scrambled egg today. Okay, and you know that they've had this before and they might quite like they've it? They've had raw egg before, they've never had scrambled, so the texture might put them off, but they might love it. Okay, good. And we have an apple and banana smoothie. Ah, smoothie. And do they have something like this in the wild? Would they pick fruits up off yeah. the floor? So if they'll find anything they can off the floor, break it open with the, the big claws and um, just take whatever they can find. So why is it so important to try out these new flavours for them? It provides different nutritional values for them um, and also it does provide enrichment for them. So if it's something that we can give them occasionally but we know they like it, it just makes them a little bit more excited for what they're going to get that day. Is this Maroni? It is, yeah. Come on over Maroni, got some treats for you. Come on, have a sniff, how's their sense of smell? It's amazing, Great. it's so much better than ours. Oh, she's had a little sniff and I'm not sure if she's going for that. It's surprising because this is quite sweet. Up she comes. Oh, have, have a sniff of this. Let's see how she likes the cork. There you go. Get your tongue in there. I think she likes that. So the cork's been a bit of a success. Absolutely. And this is not really like anything they would eat in the wild, is it? No, not at all. Remind me how long her tongue is. It's 60 centimetres, that's Wow. Time. Yeah. And I can really feel it flicking the bottom of that bottle. She's going to lick it clean, I think. <laughs> Are there any teeth in there? None. No, they have no teeth at all. It's all tongue. <laughs> Now they're a big growing animal and ants are tiny, so how many ants do they have to eat? They have to eat thousands of ants every day to sustain that appetite. Um, they just have to be very careful not to destroy their food source. So they have to go to different termite mounds every day to make sure they can eat as much as they can but not destroy it at the same time. Yeah, but this cork she is loving. Once they have a taste of something, like like now, she's she's into it. She's very into it. And yeah. should I try a bit of a smoothie okay, there? Go. They'll take this away, but only give that a sniff. Oh, she really doesn't want that. Come on. So that's great. She's really enjoying the egg, and I know she's had egg before, but not this consistency. This is scrambled, so that's another thing you can add to her diet. Absolutely, and it, it does smell slightly differently when it's cooked as well. So it just adds so many different things for her now. That's really nice. See, have a sniff of that. She's really not into this at all. It's nice and sweet, honestly. No, I think she's more of a savoury girl. Yeah, definitely. Maybe avoid the sweet. <laughs> well, there's two more things you can add to your menu. Scrambled eggs and pork.